Hi, I'm Deacon Jim Carper. Today is Friday, July 3rd, and we're here at St. Bernadette Church in South Los Angeles. Let us begin as we always begin, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, as we begin our celebration, let us praise our merciful God. Lord Jesus, you came to seek out those who were lost. Lord, have mercy. You came to give your life for the sake of all. Christ, have mercy. You came to gather into one family your scattered children. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. O oh God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestowed eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And let us come together as we break open the scripture. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the, word, in the Lord. In him you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For, the stead, for steadfast in his kindness for us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen, but still believe. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Thomas called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. Thomas said to him, Unless I see the marks of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now, a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here. And see my hands, and bring your hand, and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen, and yet have believed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Um, we, uh, I should mention, you know, we, we often use that, we use the term doubting Thomas. We, that comes from actually this scripture. When you hear somebody that, you know, never believes in things or is always the one that says, I don't believe that. Um, but unfortunately, so for that reason, we kind of leave Thomas there and think, oh, you know, he's the guy that he ha everything had to be shown to him. But he did go on to uh, do missionary work in India um, he died a terrible death. He was flayed to death. In other words, he was whipped with, with sharp objects until the skin was torn off of him. You often see images of him holding his like skin shroud with him. 
Um, but he did this incredible job of catechizing India and bringing Christianity to that area. So, I mean, he went on to be a great, great disciple and a great saint. So, you know, hope for all of us when we doubt and so on. But I, I think he speaks to us in the modern age because, uh, you know, this, the state of Missouri is the show me state. And I think in many ways we um, are show me people, you know, we're, I'm not going to believe it unless I can see it on my cell phone, or I'm not going to believe it unless somebody shows me a picture of it. I'm not going to believe it, you know. And we go with the scientific method, you know, it has to be proved. The interesting thing about the scientific method is it, it starts with a belief. It truly does. I mean, for years, for years, scientists have believed, astrologists have believed, astronomers, I'm sorry, have believed that black holes, they, they sincerely believed there were black holes. Now, in order to find something that you can't see, you have to believe it exists. If you don't believe it exists, don't believe it exists, you're not going to go looking for it. But they sincerely believed that there were black holes. It took eight telescopes from all over the world, eight telescopes perfectly aligned, perfectly split, split second timed and there had to be perfect weather in all eight of those locations in order to capture an image of a black hole. And so now they know it exists. But to find out that it exists, they had to believe first. And a miracle in and of itself, think about the odds of that happening, of eight, eight telescopes being perfectly aligned perfectly split second time and having perfect weather, clear weather everywhere. That in and of itself is a miracle, you know, to have that happen. So my brothers and sisters, doubts are okay. I mean, in fact, they're the things that we, if we work through those doubts that we call faith, isn't it? I mean, that's overcoming doubts is faith. I mean, some people refer to blind faith, but faith is an ongoing working developing, um, I almost called it human, it is human, but, but belief is this living thing that within us that is constantly being changed and reinforced and so on. And that's why we have to start with that belief and move forward. A scientist can't discover anything unless they start with a belief first and then go forward. A theory, they would call it. And so, or a hypothesis, they would call it. We do that too. They're not that much of part of the line. So my brothers and sisters, at those times you have doubt, that's good. That means you're searching. Those times you have doubt and you're unsure, that's great. Continue to pray. Continue to read scripture. Continue to have this ongoing conversation with Jesus. Because like Thomas, if you continue, if you persist, if you continue to look, you too will have sainthood. You too will be, have a great moment in heaven. You too will do great things in the Lord's name. Amen. We have opened our hearts and minds to the wisdom of God and the liturgy of the word. Now let us turn to him humbly and sincerely with these common petitions. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for our Archbishop, Jose, and for all the pastors, priests, and deacons of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, that they be blessed with the zeal and courage to proclaim the values and the obligations of our holy religion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civil leaders and representatives on the national and local levels, that their laws and their lives be an inspiration to all citizens by reflecting right reason and divine revelation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our youth in particular, that they be given the encouragement and the guidance they need to resist the immoral and sinful presence of our current pagan culture. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the needy, the aged, and the lonely, that they be consoled spiritually by the gifts of grace and also receive care, aid, and loving concern from relatives, friends, and neighbors. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died recently, particularly those that have died from the coronavirus, that they may speedily attain the blessedness of heaven, 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that today's families may be accompanied with love, respect, and guidance. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy and compassion, bless us by granting these common petitions. For we plead to you in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And let us come together and pray the prayer our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Doubt, that's okay, but have faith. Amen.